baking at the Cafe Fast and I did um, a redraw of something I drew in art class in my freshman year. That would be like five years ago, I believe. Yeah. So I did this in oil pastels and I hope you guys really enjoy this video. So I did the background in oil pastels. It was just really time consuming and I thought it was kind of boring. So I cut that bit art out. So now I'm just working on the flower. Oh, I can't talk today. Flower petals. <laughs> um, so I decided to make the petals pink because I just really like the color and it's the same color I used in the original drawing. Uh, so I'm using Pentel Arts Oil Pastels. These are like um, the only pastels I have worked with, only name brand pastels that I really like. I've tried Crayola and some other pastels that came in art sets and I just find these are much better to work with. So I added a bit of yellow um, to help blend out the petals so that way they looked uh, like they belonged in this drawing and it wouldn't stand out too much. I added um, some texture in the middle of the flower. I'm totally like brain farting right now and forgetting what it's called. Um, yeah, and I added some texture by making little V shapes with like an orange and yellow ochre color so it wouldn't be too bright and look more natural. The paper I'm using is pastel paper so it has a lot of tooth like it's really textured so it really takes the oil pastels really well. I could have added more layers if I wanted to. I'm just not that experienced with oil pastels. So um, it was just a little difficult by figuring out what I was trying to do. And then I noticed that I didn't draw the stem part of the flower and I was like, dang it. So I went in and did that. I didn't want it to blend into the background so it's all green and blues and yellows in there so I was trying really hard not to like make it too dark I wanted it to be bright and stand out I really enjoy working with oil pastels because I could really get an impressionistic if I pronounce that right uh, type of look and then um yeah since the pastels they um when you blend in with other colors it gets like yellow, you get like browns and stuff stuff on there. I wipe it off in my hand and sometimes even on like the piece of paper um, that's underneath the paper I'm working on. Oh, this video is actually super long. This is probably the most I've talked all week. And yeah, for the wings, I added a bit of a yellow color and then I used the yellow ochre and orange color to um, shade. To get the shading in there and the butterfly wings accurate looking, I um, drew the abstract shapes instead of like oh i'm drawing butterfly wings no i was looking at like the organic shapes of the um, wings so it wouldn't look cartoony i was trying to draw what i saw not what i think butterfly wings should be because um it's just if you draw what you think it should like draw what your mind thinks it is it turns out differently than what you see I was super nervous to put that black in because it's such a strong color. I was debating if I wanted to just put like a brown in, but then it wouldn't have the same effect as like the deep dark brown that the black gives you as opposed to brown. So yeah, and I totally forgot that in the black parts of the wing there is some white like spots. 
And I don't know why I forgot about that. So I had to like improvise um, how to create those. I made like the black lines a little bit thicker so that way I could add those white spots in there. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you might have, you might know this is, um, painting because I did do it in April. I scheduled my um, videos up about like a month in advance because since I have such a um, unpredictable work schedule I like to schedule things just in case I can't get them done in time so that way I have a video up every week if you want to see um, more drawings of mine then just check me out I um, always have a link in the description on where else you could find me on the web <laughs> and I think after I finish with this wing I'm using the same colors I did for the front wing I think you would call it as I did for the back I just added more orange color so it would be darker and this time I didn't forget about the white spots in the um, black of the wings after finishing up this wing that was it I added a few more touch-ups by the antennas and um legs i'm totally forgetting what they're called on insects but yeah i was really proud of myself to see how far i've gotten in my art career even if i don't work with pastels as much i could still really see the improvement thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already to see more of my work thank you so much for watching this is original painting I did. I did this freshman year. Um, my mom framed it because she really loved it. <laughs> this was on, on construction paper. It's behind a glass frame. But yeah. The white pastels I used were artist quality. I'm totally forgetting what they were called. But yeah, you could see the improvement, hopefully. Sorry if it's so shaky. It's kind of high and I'm kind of 